I will never forget the image of the burning raft drifting off into the lagoon in the pitch black night. In 2006, my 40 year old son Daniel died after a half life fully lived. We gave him the memorial he had requested a Viking funeral in Big Lagoon, a wondrous place in Northern California on the Humboldt coast where we've had a family cabin since the mid 1970s. It was here that Daniel and I spent many vacations scouring the beach for the glint of black green jade. Our ceremony did justice to his life and talked honestly about his death. Sometimes the enormity of personal and social tragedies can leave you lost for words. I was born in Northern England into a progressive family of secular Jews who made sure that no topic or idea was off limits in our household, except the Holocaust. As a teenager, I sat with my parents in the living room watching a television documentary about the liberation of the Nazi camps. My father, who always had something to say about everything, sank silently into his chair. My mother, her lips pursed, tut tutted. I came of age during the alienated 50s and welcomed the tumultuous sixties that swept me into movements for equality and justice, changing the world and my life. Arriving in Berkeley in 1963, I found my voice among many voices. Not long after Daniel's death, I discovered that the graves of Yurok Indians, who had lived in this area since time immemorial, had been dug up throughout the 20th century. The Yurok bones and hundreds of thousands of other native remains excavated throughout the country ended up in universities and museums sapped of their humanity. Since this discovery, I felt compelled to do justice to their memory, just as I did for my son. I now work with the descendants of Big Lagoon Yurok to protect and commemorate the grave sites at Big Lagoon. But that's not enough. The University of California at Berkeley, my alma mater, similarly needs to take responsibility for the 10,000 native remains it keeps in a dank basement on campus. 10,000 as reported by Life magazine in 1948, 10,000 today. An apology would be a good start followed by a memorial, land for burials, and reparations. It's time to speak out. <laughs>